Facing a busy road in front of the Nakhon Si Tamarat police station are two images. One is a bronze statue of Kunpan in full dress uniform. A few meters away sits the image of the Jatukam Ram Teb, adorned with regalia and shaded by a faux gilded nine-tiered parasol. The image is modern, and it is not a Buddha, nor is it exactly Hindu. It is not even clear that it is a Buddha, Bodhisattva, a Buddha-to-be who remains in the world to teach the Dhamma. The deity in its present material form is newborn and came into this world a little over 30 years ago when an amulet was minted to fund a local shrine. Chapter five is magical thinking to dispel fear and uncertainty. And in this uh, chapter, I talk quite a bit about uh, the amulet that the policeman consecrated in 1986. In 1985, a new provincial police chief arrived in the Konsi Tamarat, Police Lieutenant General San Pet Tamatikun. His job now was to curtail communist insurgency and end public unrest in the district. In fact, by the mid-1980s, the communist movement in Thailand was a spent force. An amnesty had recently been issued for those who had fled into the jungle in the arms of the party after the 1976 massacre at Thammasat University. Still, the communist specter continued to be raised in order to justify high defense budgets and to buttress the authority of the security services. So we're at a shrine uh, in a monastery along a canal. The shrine is uh, in, a, in a monastery compound, uh, and the name of the monastery is uh, Wat Nang Priya. Historically, it was built by the very powerful uh, lord of Nakorn, the governor of Nakorn, called Jiao Priya Nakorn Noi, in the first part of the 19th century. And this particular uh, 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 deity here has, has her own interest. She's called the Jiao Ma, the, 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 the mother deity. Local people soon made the new police chief aware of the need to construct a city pillar, the palladium of the town and the abode of the guardian spirit that watched over it. During the decade, the economy had diversified into the provinces. The central government was boosting regional identity and a national effort was underway to furnish the major centers in the country with a city pillar. A group of Chinese merchants led the new police chief to a Chinese shrine near the east of the town, where a spirit medium was known to conjure lucky numbers for the lottery and other gambling ventures. Wat Nang Pia was not an affluent monastery, and the monastery committee was always looking for resources to renovate it. A local community association took charge of organizing the seances and preparing offerings for the medium. Police General San Pet was at first skeptical of the medium, but after performing a few experiments to satisfy himself of its authenticity, he decided to heed its advice. San Pet was a serving police after, officer after all, and public disorder was a problem. Banditry was rife at the time. At one of the seances, the medium asked bluntly, why do you let these bad characters go on living? Soon after, a number of these bad characters in the municipality were found dead and public opinion attributed the deaths to the spirit medium's challenging words. Such fatal encounters with the police in these circumstances are, un are not unknown in the troubled annals of crime suppression in Thailand. We're here at the city pillar, the Lak Moon, at Nakhon Si Tamarat. It's a kind of the heart of the city, and in the mid-1980s there was a move by the central government to promote the refurbishing of these uh, shrines for the Lak Moon all over the all over Thailand. So in 1987, uh, the uh, shrine was uh, re-renovated re and, and, and rebuilt, uh, and the funds to do that were raised by the uh, sale of the Jatukam Ram Tape amulet. So the amulet first sold for 10 to 20 baht, and uh, local people uh, purchased the amulet. I do also spend some time talking about uh, amulets generally and why they are said to have these powers of protection, uh, charm, uh, they're auspicious for the acquisition of wealth, for wealth building. Uh, they are a kind of asset class uh, in the financial world. If you buy a good amulet uh, and, and keep it, it will appreciate in value. Uh, you can buy a a cheap fake and it will be worth less than, you, than, the, than the cost you paid when you come to sell it. According to several versions of the Jatukam Ramteb's pedigree, 
the spirit medium drew an indistinct picture and gave instructions to ask the guy with the whiskers to explain the drawing. The devotees immediately identified the guy with the whiskers as Kunpan, the legendary policeman who had sported a handlebar mustache throughout his career. When police general Sun Pet and his delegation arrived at Kunpan's house to hear his interpretation of the puzzling picture, the older policeman was waiting for them. It was as if he had foreknowledge of the visit. He was very excited to see the drawing and immediately identified the image as Jatukam Ramteb. Sun Pet and his Chinese merchant colleagues returned to the spirit medium to report the news and through the medium, the Jatukam deity identified itself saying, I've been waiting for you for a thousand years. Now I'll tell you how to build a city pillar shrine.